Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. And for anyone watching that doesn't know the Lord Jesus Christ, I would love to share with you the good news. It's that God came down in the form of a man. His name was Jesus Christ of Nazareth, and he died on the cross for all of your sins. And he rose again on the third day. He resurrected. He overcame death. And um, he is alive. And if you believe in him, if you put your faith in him, you will be saved from hell and you will go to heaven. So please put your faith and believe in Jesus. It just takes a mustard seed of faith, the Lord says. Um, and it's belief. That's what saves you. So like, uh, thanks for letting me share that. And excuse my voice. Just getting over a cold here, but I'd love to share with you some scripture and um, a short dream that um, I believe was from the Lord and it just was really encouraging and I wanted to share that as well. So first the scripture, this is Kitty, hey Kitty, okay, um, first the scripture is from Isaiah 51. Um, and I'll start with verse 12. I, even I, am he who comforts you. Who are you that you fear mortal men, the sons of men who are but grass, that you forget the Lord, your maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, that you live in constant terror every day because of the wrath of the oppressor who is bent on destruction. For there is wrath, of the, for where is the wrath of the oppressor? The cowering prisoners will soon be set free. They will not die in their dungeon, nor will they lack bread. For I am the Lord your God, who churns up the sea so that its waves roar. The Lord Almighty is his name. And I believe that's what's going to happen upon this earth soon, is that the, the prisoners will be set free and um, the children of God will be set free from the decaying of this uh, tent we live in, this current body, and be set free into heaven, into our immortal bodies um, that God will change in a twinkling of the eye when we are caught up into heaven in the rapture of the church. Um, suddenly, we will be caught up and destruction will fall upon this earth and I believe the seas will be churned up um, and there will be tsunamis and earthquakes and um, all of God's wrath will be um, poured onto the world and uh, judgment um, will, will start as, as uh, the children of God are taken, the Holy Spirit lifted up off of this earth and then, um, and then, God's wrath will begin. Um, the dream I wanted to share is was a short one. I have this little uh, sketched out picture. Um, I just called it the Antichrist dream, and I had it um, just a few years ago, yesterday, March 6, 2023, and uh, today's the 7th. Um, it started where I was walking through a lobby, like a hotel lobby, and I was with other people. I didn't recognize them, but I knew other people were around me. And I was walking through this lobby. There were chairs um, set up, like this was a lobby. Chairs set up here and there. There was a man sitting at a chair, and he was working on his laptop. And so I was walking with some other people, walking through, and then there was a staircase that we rounded. We went around the staircase and then started going um, down or through, um, this, this staircase. And as it went down, there was like a see-through section along the railing. And I could see, I don't remember seeing the front of this man's head. He was like looking down. So I, I, I remember seeing him though, and thinking that is an evil man. Having that thought, uh, this is an evil man and walking through. And as I'm going around in the back of the staircase, I looked and I could see the back of this man's head. <clears throat> and I drew a little sketch over here of the back of his head. And it was, he had dark um, brown, very dark brown or black 
hair and it was shaved very short. I could still see the little prickles of his hair through, so he wasn't totally, you know, bald. You could see the little, the little fresh hair popping through. And, um, and, but in the middle of the back of his head, it was, um, cut out and it was like totally bald and it looked like there was an implant of some sort, um, in the back of his head. And when I saw the, <laughs> excuse me, <coughs> the back of his head, um, I knew this is the antichrist and, um, it, so I had this dream that I woke up and I didn't think too much of it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, but in my quiet time, I was read, I was led to second Thessalonians two, six through eight. And I'm going to quickly turn here. Um, I was just reading this in my morning quiet time and it says, and now you know what is holding him back so that he may be revealed at the proper time. For the secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who now holds it back will continue to do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth um, and destroy with the splendor of his coming. So that was like... I, it just was like the Lord was saying, um, when we, as indwelt Holy Spirit believers, are leaving this place, and so the finish, I remember walking through the staircase, and then I was in another place, I was in a whole different, like, area, I think I was outside or something, so as we're leaving this earth, when we're, when we're leaving, you know, we're on our way out, you know, we might recognize, we might have ideas of who the Antichrist is, or, you know, maybe closer to right up to the time we see the Antichrist, um, you know, but he will not, he needs working. The secret power of lawlessness is already at work. He was working, yet he wasn't totally revealed. I couldn't see his face. So, um, it just was so, the Lord, as I was reading this, was almost, you know, he's like revealing, he's at work through this verse, the secret power of lawlessness, the Antichrist spirit's at work, but yet when we leave, then it's like he will stand up and be revealed and, and be working and in that active position of standing up. Um, so I'm sure the Lord um, can reveal more uh, to this through you, or um, the Holy Spirit as you just maybe pray about um, this dream and, uh, this, this verse, meditate on this verse. I just pray the Holy Spirit would reveal, um, to you, um, just the nearness of the time and that, uh, the rapture is soon. We were going to be taken out of the way and then the lawless one, um, will be revealed. So, um, I pray this blesses you and encourages you. I just, when I, we, the Lord was revealing this, it just showed, me in the spirit just wow the time is so close we're walking through and we're on our way out the rapture is so close right at the door so be encouraged brothers and sisters okay god bless you all bye